all right welcome back to another tuesday night stream um wow why is it so quiet <clears throat> am i just quiet do i need to speak up i guess let's see oh i think i know why i might have it on a different setting yet um let's see that seems good there here i'm gonna mute it so it doesn't make the loud thud but oh is this the the game oh boy it is the game that was a load screen all right one second here There, now it's on one direction instead of, anyway. We're all set, there we go. It's so quiet, I thought it was a load screen. Two chests, why is it so quiet? It says, how will it supposed to be? <laughs> is the game just, quiet because we had audio at the beginning this is weird okay <laughs> okay so you unlock the sound effects okay cool cool so now i've got sound effects and now i'll probably get music here in one of these next chests smoother scrolling okay all right i can dig it it's pretty cool it starts out really uncanny valley but or like uh really uncanny here okay we can't get through there yet and now we got a sword. Now you can kill the evil monsters and cut down bushes. Take that bush. You got monsters. Be careful not to touch them. Got music. can't go this way yet. Looks like that is a path we have to come up from. So can, we, can we backtrack and get down there now? So we can cut through bushes. You got a star. Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. Card to play double twin. Hmm. I don't know what double twin is yet, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, and we've got everything over here. Good thing I went back. I love how this is like <laughs> uh, giving both like familiar and like new experience all in one it's pretty great what's this you got save points sweet game saves you are safe oh just automatically saves when you walk over it that's nice Guessing can only have like one save per file then. Got another star. You got the card bat.
Ooh. Things are prettier. Honestly, was not expecting a uh, upgrade so soon. I mean, it already gave me music and sound effects. Oh no. Oh, game over. Oh no. You unlock the 16 colors display. Interesting. Alright. So it's very Dark Souls then in the in the sense of uh can only get hit once. Alright, sixteen color display. So really gotta be careful. That's right, there was nothing down here, was there? There was back that way. These two out. That was close. Rocking the D-pad, because I feel like you got to at this point. It's a square by square. Just have a bit more control over my button presses here. Okay, I'm gonna need a new item for that. Where'd that bat go? Oh, there they are. That. There we go. Well, there's a save. A short story of adventure video games evolution. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. So they say. That, that like we got like a <laughs> little bit of story bit from the chest got another star I still need to go back see what's uh, behind me 256 color display oh boy alright we don't want to go that way yet I don't think I want to go back the spot where there was those enemies before, which means we gotta go down, right? No. Are they over there? Yeah, they were over there. Oh wait. Okay. No, I've already fought these before. It's just because I. Oh no. I don't think I need to fight them. <laughs> Alright, continue. Yeah, everything just spawns back when. <laughs> Silly me. Go 
that monster. And, okay, this isn't as end-all as I thought it was going to be. Alright. You got sign panel. Okay. <laughs> Unlock the sign. Alright, what does this say? This path is reserved for agile adventurers. I am not agile currently. You got free movement. Ah, yes. Now the joystick is useful. Uh, the access has been blocked by the di dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. East. I thought you said waste. There we go. Now I can squeeze between the rocks. Oh, that's so tricky. Uh. Haha. -ha. I am on to you. Probably didn't need to fight you in the first place. Oh no. Yes, save my game. Ooh. Okay, I did need to fight them. You got inventory. You got overworld. Oh, that dude's sick. Turn based battle. Like they are attempting they're <laughs> just skirting around the actual like original or like the inspiration for these. It's pretty great. Quite a bit of HP away. Do I get healing stuff? You got Mode 7. It looks really gorgeous when it introduced back in 1990. I like that they are also giving like little tidbits of history. You got place, place's name. You will learn the name of the places you travel to. Lots of these statues. Okay, goes a lot quicker when I just. Ah. You got chest unlocked. Killing all the monsters can also unlock treasures. There it be. Ooh, you got village. <laughs> Such as transferred. But what if there was more cool things there? You got NPC. At last, someone to talk to or not. Sorry, I don't speak to children. I'm so little. 
stop bothering me. Go play with the other children. Suddenly, we're a small child. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. If you're not a nice boy, the evil Ke Kefka's ghost will come and eat you. I'll show that evil Kefka ghost. Sorry, I don't speak to children. I really can't really talk to you, didn't I? Or there's just a lot of repetitive. You're a child. You'll speak to me. Adults are funny. Are not funny. They always complain about us children. I don't... If only I could eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found has fallen down the well. I'm too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. Alright. To the well. Well, well, well. Have items? I do have a potion. There we go. Fifty gliss. Anika Village. You got enter houses. You can now freely invade people's privacy. Ah, yes. As is required of all RPGs. All right, there we go. And you got innkeeper. A nice bed is waiting for you at a decent price. I just used a potion. Tangless. Nah. We'll be back. I guess this is gonna unlock a shopkeeper. Yeah, you can always spend your gliss with that guy. Alright. Sorry, the National Sword Association. Uh, Association does not allow us to sell weapons to children yet. Yet. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I brought to talk to you. I learned how to twerk. Okay, now I gotta find that well. There it is. We haven't gone into this house. This door is locked. Maybe there's something in there. Enter the well. Be careful, it's very dark down there. You have found a strange seed. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Now I'm a grown boy. You got grow taller. What's with all the kids in video games anyway? Got the card Worm. A new card to play Double Twin. Oh, my animation for my sword has changed. I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the North Caves. 
Nelly talk to me? A girl has vis visited us earlier. If she, is she a friend of yours? Blah. I cannot speak right now. Let me in the house. The crystal caves to the north are a dangerous place. It is said Kefka's ghost lives there. Or here. There. But no adventurer has ever come back to tell us. I changed his voice, didn't I? That's okay. It's gotta be a key. The medium is the mas the massage by Emma McClellan. Very fitting. The ultimate guide to everything by S. Miyamoto. What a genius. You found a potion. Okay, I should have been clicking on things. You know what? I bet you the key is underneath the doormat. There are quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. He, we won't let you pass with your current equipment. Okay, so I gotta buy something from the shop. Ah, there's no doormat. How to Cook a New Book by KFC Yummy. All your chests are belong to us. Lost in translation, I guess. Welcome to the adventurer shop. Please spend all your money here. Thank you. Okay, we got a potion longsword. Everything I own. Or all the all of my gliss. You have found fifty gliss. There we go. I gotta save up for that rare card. Adults are not funny, they always complain about us children. Their dialogue did not change. There any... You have found a potion. There we go. 1001 Monsters to Kill in One Shot by Chuck N. For the Hardcore Adventurer. How to Save the World with Hero's Crystal by H. Sakaguchi. I don't think I will need this. Mind Fight by A. Zephyros. Doesn't look like a very fun read. Okay, so... So now may I pass? Okay, yeah, they have unblocked it. But I'm gonna go back this way because I want to save up and get that rare card. And I feel like if I go the other way, I'll advance too quickly. I'm bigger and stronger now. Ten of those slimes, and I will we'll have it. Now 
And now I can just one hit them. It's great. Shouldn't cost me any potions. This will. That's not that bad though, they're hardly doing anything to me now. 150 I get making quick work. Check how much gliss I have. 350. An emoke. My arch nemesis. Also 50 gliss. They're very uh, generous. didn't take that long. I'm surprised I didn't get another encounter. Alright, so we can even go take a little nappy nap. Well, getting a phoenix down would be good too. Rare card. You got the emuk card. Nah, let's, yeah, let's, let's get at least one phoenix down. We'll hold off on going to the um, end to recover. Hello, slime. Hundred more or so. Hey, yeah, visit to the inn. There we go. There it is. Be interested to see if the potion and the uh, phoenix down are also just a singular item or if they have more stock than that. Okay, yeah, so those those replenish. So having one at least one Phoenix down would be good. In case save points become further and further away. And then this might also act as a save point. HP all the way back to max. Now I have two potions. Perfect. So in save your game as well. Alright, let's continue on. We are more powerful than we ever have been. You got forced to fight. Someone is calling for help. Alright. I heard someone calling for help. Oh dear. Looks like she got attacked by these monsters. Good thing I bought that phoenix down. Hey, 
I just revived them. All right, magic. Heal. Oh, they could have just healed themselves. Easy peasy. Saving me from these monsters. I need the crystal in the cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? Yeah. By the way, my name is. Eh, we'll just leave it as Karis. Karis has joined the team. I am still a nameless hero. Alright, they want to go to the cave. But I kind of want to. Get my buy another potion and another phoenix down, so maybe I should train a little more. Let's see, let's see if there's anything else out here. Oh, what was that? The hidden meadow. True Explorer, you have found the hidden cave. Ow. Jerk. That's good. Invasion of the Undead Cats by E. Schrodinger, an Amazon bestseller. So many references. Breaking in the the gliss now. Take 
that, you slime. Phoenix Downs and uh, rest at the inn. can head towards the crystal cave. I do have to say that another one that time is just flying by. Take that, Emok. already we need to find the crystal its power can change your perception of the world and with it you can fight the evil that threatens my village by the way I just noticed that I forgot to ask your name clink <laughs> what all right Link it is. You got cave monsters. Uh oh. Looks like the cave is inhabited. So I would have just went the other way. Damn it. Oh dang. If I would have just went the other way, I wouldn't have had any encounters. Alright. There's nothing over here anyway. Left. Don't be so rude. Man, those moles are rich. Even though that's not what they're called. Found a potion. And a battle against Cobra Zero. Well, oh, that did not do much. Still, though, that's not too bad. Found another potion. That then just head north. Torque. Missed. Come down. Torque. 
Torques do a lot of damage. You got experience points. You can now get experience in new levels while fighting. Thank goodness. All that fighting and getting nothing but bliss. Just get to me, man. The rewards were not that. Uh, not getting me. You got a star. You got life fountain. Some fresh water might heal your wounds. Nice. And it's another safe point. Oh boy. Shit's getting real. I'll probably be better to take the scavens out. Torques just do so much damage. I suppose getting hit by them a bunch of times also does a bunch of damage. Flink has reached level 2. His attack has increased. Karis has reached level 2. Her defense has increased. That is a pressure plate. You got something happened somewhere. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. The crystal. I think we found it. You woke up the guardian of the crystal. Oh dear. Probably should have went back to the fountain. Kefka's ghost. He was the gar crystal guardian, crystal's guardian for many centuries, but it looks like it has been kept corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil that has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal. We need its power to fight. Sounds like a good plan. Got boss in him. He looks much more dangerous now. Oh boy. Oh, that heals both of us. If I'd known that, I'd have been using it more often. Thought I'd have to like take turns. I was gonna say, how much more health is it than here? 400 bliss and 20 XP. Link has reached level 3. His defense has increased. Harris has reached level 3. Her magic has increased. The crystal power has been activated. We're 3D. 
power of the crystal is incredible. Now I feel like I can fight the evil witch threat the evil witch threatens my village. But we will have to cross the Noria mines in order to reach it. Thank you for helping me. You're my hero. everything. You got 16-bit music. You got life hearts. So now we can get hit more than one time. That's nice at least. Got another star. Got a Zumba card. All right. Ow. Oh, we can get hit way more than just one time. They probably don't draw parts yet, though. Related textures. All right. It's better now that everything doesn't look so plastic now. See, it's, it's got it's giving me like the. Th 3D Zelda, vi Zelda vibes though, so I keep thinking of them like fine <laughs> hearts and stuff in the the bushes. I don't know what those cards are used for. Dimensional stone past. Was it always that small? You're back to the early game. Okay. okay so I can travel back then. That's nice. Which I guess makes sense because I have to be able to go to those rocks at some point anyway but it's good to know that like if I miss something I can still head back so I could head back there was another stone in the early game that I probably it probably wants me to go across now I don't want to go back in here. Ah, it's not gonna let me. Okay, so that's probably where it wants me to go. Let's go back to that first dimensional stone and cross over that.
This had to have been pretty fun to make, but also like challenging at the same time. Because you have to make these textures and some of them you have to make it for more than one. Actually, probably all of it needs to be remade from like the early 2D. Okay, there's the other one. You got life bonus. Monsters will now drop small hearts. There we go. You got camera zoom. You look very cool when you get, get a new item. Specifically, only for that. Alright. Quick do a save there. Okay, but they only heal quarter hearts. So it is, you know, each heart you get is still just one hit. Not so generous in that one. <laughs> Honestly, probably could have done without that animation. Kind of old. There we go. Whole hearts. We got HD textures. Finer grained painting. It's so nice. Minoria mines are just south of here. If we can get through them, we will reach my hometown. I hope nobody is doing or I hope everybody is doing okay there. Please hurry, my hero. Alright, we'll go that way soon. some space to explore over here. Okay, apparently that's it. It's all there is. message here. Yeah, things still work. What? You got three-dimensional world? Okay. <laughs> oh, for the world. Okay. Instead of got 3D. Okay. Now everything's 3D. The Noria Mines. Hey, isn't that the... Let's make sure I'm not missing anything here in these forests. You can now explore the Noria Mines. Seems like they're telling me this way is dangerous. Like the, like, Bowser face they got going there. Can't cross that yet. You got breakable pots. This door seems locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. That's a lot of pressure. I don't think I can handle it. You got pressure plates. I guess that's not exactly Fort Knox. There's 
one. There's two. I did it. You got door mechanism. Makes you wonder why they even have doors. You got Red Wizard. You will love his ability to quickly dry your clothes. That's an enemy. God, stop it. Alright, that was it. They're done. They're done for. Now I have to watch out for freaking red wizards. You got trap room. You got a key. Guess what it's used for. You got a skeleton. Oh boy. All he needs is a hug. <laughs> Alright, apparently I gotta attack from the side or behind. I can see something under the water here. There must be another mechanism nearby. Yeah, hopefully it raises them all, and then I can go back and get that chest at the beginning, too. Oh, no, you don't. You got something happened somewhere. Again. Okay, so it raised those, but not that. Damn it. I want all of them. Raise them all. You got maze. Always go left. Or was it right? I'm pretty sure it's always left. Well, it typically it's choose one direction to keep going. Because when you switch, that's when you start to go back the way you came and get turned around. So as long as you continue, like, pick a direction, left or right, and stick with that. You should be okay with most mazes. is going to be a star. block. Looks heavy. Don't hurt your back. What happened to my experience? Was very short lived. So was this so was the turn based combat, to be honest. But I 
another trap room. Got high def user interface. Bye bye, lovely square pixels. Welcome at uh, anti aliasing. There was a lot of monsters in the previous room. I hope you're not hurt badly. Sorry if I can't help you that much fighting. At least let me heal your wounds. Huh? There we go. You got whole. A great place to get rid of invincible monsters. than I do. <laughs> you got left or right. One of the two is a dangerous choice. Left. Left was the dangerous choice. guessed. This game has so many puns built into it. Gotta make the right choice. Man, my nose just itches. You got whirlwind. A gentle wind will guide you to the nearest trap. Dropping the heart. Much appreciated. And you got light puzzle. Real adventurers must be strong and smart. It's a pretty easy one that I feel like also got to cheat a little bit there. No, I gotta probably get it through this spiky room. Oh no. Oh no. There's the key. That took way too many hills. Too many hearts though. No! up a bunch. You got lava. This one will not turn into obsidian. Oh, that's good to know. Alright. I know it's gonna be it's kind of a shorter adventure than uh, I normally would do, but I'm getting kind of sleepy. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Watch your steps. Okay. 
Yeah. Kind of anticipated that one. Okay. Ooh. That one almost got me. It's gonna venture forward a little bit to see what's next and then head back to the save, but I think it might just be easier to keep going forward. You got auto fire. The key to success is good timing. Nothing over there. No. Dang it. Had the trick floor too yet. Yeah. Should have known the cut corner was was too good to be true. Oh no! Holy crap! Too many of them. Got boss door key. better have freaking health. It's kind of looking that way, for the most part. Oh. Rude. Alright, got both of them done. Now it should be pretty easy with the skeletons, maybe? Except for they take three hits. I only hit them one side. There we go. Let's see how many hearts can I get back? That would be a good time for healing, friend. Okay, we might. We'll, we'll play to the end, I guess. We'll do it. It's fine. We'll be fine. I'm having too much fun, I think. How do I get there? Oh, that's the crack in the wall. So I have to come back here. Once I unlock that, anyway. Star of the Vault. Ten hidden stars. Okay, yeah, so I can't get that one yet either. So, yeah, it was just that one at the beginning. The other ones are probably going to be after the boss fight. full health, but better than what I was at. Okay. They did 
I did make sure that I had enough. There's a strong evil presence ahead. I hope it's not another frightening monster. Maybe a cute one this time. Something is coming. You shall not pass. Hey, he looks like you, Clink. Is it a real foe or just a shadow? Whatever it is, we have no choice but to fight it. How come you got magic? Alright. Faster. Ow. You got a legendary sword. Looks heavy, but very cool. Does it remind you of some past hero? Ah, uh, yes. And present hero, actually. I can feel fresh air coming from outside. I think we have reached the exit of Noria Mines. Let's hurry to my village. I hope it's not too late. Ah, uh, okay, so we'll probably have to pass through here again. You got 3D fights. Hold on until the fourth dimension arrives. So far, the game seems to be relatively linear. And it want, wants to revisit areas later. Probably should have done the other one. I don't know how much health those have. enough where it makes sense for both of us to attack. Dang. Alright, let's get into this village so I can hopefully save. You got pre-rendered backgrounds, a new way to display things, which with much more details. Welcome to Al Gale City. At last, we're back. I hope every, everyone is fine. I'm happy the village has not been swallowed by the wastes. Will the power of the crystal be enough to save us? Guess we'll find out next time we play. I'm gonna save there, and I think that's, that's gonna be it for tonight. I am falling asleep. <laughs> uh, but 
Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I've got here. Do I have this set up? No, I don't think I do. So I just have to do my classic background. Not even a classic background, just a black background. Or might just chat, but I forgot to set up the... Uh, set it up so that it uh, is working that 10 out of 10 cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, I mean, not really. Uh, since this game seems to be pulling a lot from other games, so... Uh, Lots of references to Zelda and Final Fantasy, for sure. Heck, our, our character name is Clink. But, uh, have you played this one, Avalor? Or, or is it just uh, uh, Ada and Yogi that have played? I know, oh yeah. I know they mentioned it in the Discord, and uh, they had an argument about it being one or two games, and the Legendary Edition has both games in it. But, um, yeah, basically, <laughs> as you go through, it changes the graphics and the gameplay and stuff like that. So, um, in on the world map, it will have, like, turn-based, and then... In the 3D maps, it will be kind of more like Zelda-esque, where, you know, you just kind of have to do a certain amount of hits. And also, like, the, a dungeon, the dungeon we just got out of was very, like, Zelda-like. Um, so I started out in, like, 8-bit, like, black, like, kind of like Game Boy, like, filter-esque 2D. And now we are 3D with many pixels and anti-aliasing so <laughs> it's pretty cool uh yeah you might i think right now it's this game is on sale for like um five bucks i mean the sword we have is called claude's sword and it looks uh like that so just kind of kind of paint a picture <laughs> Um, but yeah. Oh, I suppose you can't see it. I'll switch back real quick. Game capture. So, yeah, it's called Claude's Sword, and it looks like that. <laughs> Into the sink my money goes. <laughs> right? Uh, but, uh, dang it, now how do I get out of here? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Do you want to return to the main menu? So yeah, I yeah, I think it's like on sale right now for like five or six bucks. And it's quite it's pretty fun. Like it also like oh the controls also changed. So like you start off and like um it basically just moves square to square and like it's very like jittery, but then you open another chest that also like uh, then smooth that out a little bit too. Um, so like I started out using the D pad, um, on the Xbox controller and then moved to adding, moving the, moved to the joystick when they gave me more like, uh, all over controls, I guess. I forget what they called it, but every time you like open a chest or unlock something, it like does a little thing at the bottom and tells you what you unlocked and, uh, it's crazy like I honestly like when I started the game I thought that I was in a load screen because there was no sound because I hadn't opened any chests yet and all of the f like the effects and uh, music you had to actually like get in the game before it actually started playing it so it's it's really cool uh really really funny concept I guess um <laughs> right just getting to like unlock all aspects of the game as you, like 
as you move along, like it becomes a completely different game. So that's kind of cool. Um, man, why is my chat so teeny tiny in this one? I have to fix that at some point. But I don't know where it is. And there we go. Maybe it's so small. <laughs> um, font size. We'll bump that up. And then that should fix that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, like I just in the hour and a half I played, I now have unlocked six achievements of the 65 too. So, but I mean, that's across two games, but, uh, yeah. But anyway, I was going to go look at what it is in the storefront. Oh, no. I think you missed, you missed the sale. It must've ended like yesterday. Because it's back up to like 20 bucks. Yeah. But you are getting two games, so it's like, you know, 10 bucks each. But but you, you can probably wait for it to go back. Go back on sale. If you really wanted to get it. Or you could always remote into Ada's computer and play it or mine and play it I'm always down for that but yeah that's that's all I've got so Wednesday or uh, Thursday we'll go back to playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and hopefully we find some more fun little uh, discoveries like Yuffie singing about how bored she is that'd be pretty freaking great um, I hope I hope you set that as your ringtone after I sent you that that file. Better have downloaded it. <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> awesome! All right, at least, uh, man. Now I now I kind of wish I would have spent more time on it. It made it sound like actually legit, but I guess this way it's probably you know got more character to it. But. I, I, I keep forgetting to do that, too. I need to download it on, on my phone and set it as, like, an alarm or a ringtone or something. I think probably a ringtone makes the most sense. Just, I'm so bored. <laughs> but, that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your night, and we will see you next time. <laughs>